Cheers. She extra. Hello, my fellow bookworms. Hello. So, so I had this fabulous idea, if I do say so myself, not to toot my own horn, but Auga. Okay, I wanted to do a video, and I see so many videos like this about books that you should read if you're into finance, if you're into the or in my case, acting. And a lot of times it'll be like top five, top 10. Y'all, I'm from Texas. I really wanted to make a video like that. And I kept wrestling with the idea of how to narrow down the books. Top five, top five about technique, top five career advice, da -da -da, top 20 that I love because I could not narrow it down. I just felt like in the depths of my bibliophile bleeding heart, I could never just pick five or 10. I felt like, okay, maybe I'll do 10, like 10 times. I decided that I'm just gonna make this into a series and we are going to read all the books. I strongly, strong, I strongly believe that every book deserves its own video. I'm sorry, put some respect on Stanislavski's name. You know what I'm saying? Like all of the books need its own video. That's it, we're doing it. We're doing a recurring series called The Actors Book Club Corner, The Actors Book Club Corner, The Actors Book Club, The Actors Book Club, The Actors Book Club Series, The Actors Book Club Series Corner Series. I don't know what we're gonna call it, but this is all about book. This is a book club. I have always wanted to be a part of a book club and it just like never works out for me. I have tried a few. And we've, we've done okay. One time my friend started another excuse to drink book club. <laughs> and so we had that one years ago. I bought a nook and everything. Listen, I love books. I love to read. And okay, wait, before you click off of this, if you don't like to read, it's okay. I'll do it for you. And I'm going to summarize each book in each video and give you all the highlights. I mean, I'm like your own personal cliff notes of sorts, you know, with my own, you know, but like, cuter but um so i am so excited so excited about this yeah and then i tried a different book club another time and we actually got some books in but it was just so hard to keep up together right and i just love this digital realm because now i'll just read the books that i want and actually there's tons i've already read and i will review more like a book report i will give a book report on each one and then we can even talk about them if you do read them. And I wanna do this once a month so you can read ahead on the next one. I'll always tell you what book I'm gonna do for the next video so that you can keep up and read it along for that month and then we'll like talk about it next month. I'm so stoked. Okay, maybe we'll even start like a Discord. I don't know, we'll see. So I wanna start off by reading you this one thing. I say start off, I'm gonna always say like first, but first, but first, actually, but first. <laughs> I always try to do a quote at the end of every video, so please stay till the end so you can have my actor's quote of the day. <laughs> and I love quotes, I find them to be very inspirational, and I wanna offer some that will inspire you on your journey. Um, this channel is all, oh, let me, 
Sorry, I forget. Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Melissa. I'm a working actor in Texas, and this channel is all about my acting journey and all of the things that I think are helping me become a better actor and pursue it as a career. But even if you're not into acting, I really would love if you stuck along on this ride with me because the things that I'll post will also be very much related to like becoming a holistic person, which is what helps me become a better actor and will help you pursue any dream that you may have in my opinion or any career that you're doing so like that has a lot to do with health fitness you know how you present yourself so like a little bit of fashion i love to cook i love um this feels like a dating website date me please i subscribe so you know it's a little bit of lifestyle so help ish because i love that kind of stuff and of course just continuing to evolve and i know you're nervous about this me too evolve as humans so we can pursue our dreams with more zeal and energy so here we go why is it important to read books in general this is why on ink.com why reading books should be a priority for adults or anyone really it's children as well but in this case we're adults i'm assuming so apparently the practice of reading books creates cognitive engagement. It improves a lot of things, including your, your vocabulary, your vocabulary, your thinking skills and concentration. It can also affect empathy, social perception and emotional intelligence. Um, the sum of which helps people stay on the planet longer. Reading books helps you live longer, you guys. It's right here. So that's why we all should read, but actors in particular. So there are a ton of books on a ton of subjects. So no matter what your dream or your goal is, there's going to be a book out there for you. It is a wonderful resource for you to indulge in. So now to my actors, particularly those who are new at acting and wanting to learn how to become an actor, become an actor and you feel so lost and don't know where to start on this very confusing journey books are a great place to start and guess what hear me out on this if you are someone who does not have room in your budget to invest towards your acting career you're finding yourself overwhelmed with the expenses of headshots of classes self-tape equipment of all these things and you just like don't know where to start you already feel cornered by a lack of finances books are for you because guess what honey they are free 99 at the library that is exactly how i first started out when i felt like i had no room to go i was like what class should i take like where do i start and this was before zoom before i don't say before the internet i'm not quite a dinosaur but i kind of a little bit a little prehistoric <laughs> but i would go to the library and just go to the art section and find the tiny little acting section and that's where i found my first stanislavski book if you're exposed to acting at all you would start to know this name right but if this name is completely unfamiliar to you it's time to read a book honey because he is the whole reason why we have the actors that we have in america so I would just check out books and educate myself, um, especially for those of you who maybe didn't go to theater school or didn't go do a master's program or didn't take the higher education scholastic route of pursuing acting. Books are free at the library. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Wait, that's not all I'm gonna say about that. You guys have heard me in other videos talk about the regret I have sometimes of not having pursued acting as a theater major in college or a master's program at an elite school or something like that. I remember having the idea after I went to the library and started checking out books to find more books. I remember like looking up at U of H or like whatever local college. I looked up books that were being taught in a curriculum and I would write them down and try to find them. Nowadays, you can actually get on Amazon and rent textbooks even if you're not officially in school. So I have been savvy enough to actually, one time Keith Brooks, my teacher that I talk about all the time because I'm obsessed with him, he's so awesome. Every time I have a class with him, I'm like, what's your new book recommendation, Keith? And he always gives me a book. And one of them was actually a textbook. He was like, oh, I love this book, but it's a textbook. I was like, give me the name, I don't care. So I looked it up on Amazon and sure enough, I was able to rent it for $20. It's $100 to purchase it because it's an actual textbook that he used at freaking Yale. So I'm like, okay, it's called One Acting. I'll, um, here's a picture of it. I'm pretty sure I'll put it right here from the Amazon. So if you wanna like rent that out, yeah, it's so good. Here's another reason you should uh, be more into reading books as actors. Hello, books to movies. 
yes, this movie comes out November 24th. And this is another reason why I wanted to start this series versus doing like top 10 books because I was cruising in the airport here recently, was waiting for my flight. And there's always a little kiosk of books for people, you know, to like get a book on the plane. And I'm such a nerd that I went and like looked at what's like the latest release. I saw this book and I was like, God, I can't wait for that movie to come out. And I was like, oh, I need to read this before the movie comes out. I didn't realize that it was actually from an actual book. I just thought it was the story of Gucci, but it's actually a book. So I am such a nerd and I love reading a book and then watching the movie. It's just like my favorite thing. It's like warm cookies, and a hot bath. Like it just soothes my soul. I get so excited about it. I know I'm blushing, I'm so nerdy. But can you imagine getting booked in a movie that is based off of a book? Like how fun would it be to have that resource there? to read so that you can prepare properly for your role. So if we're dreaming big here, which we always are, friend, we would really be setting ourselves up for success by being avid readers. So we will always have the upper hand if we book a role like that. We've already read the book. So yeah, when I saw this at the airport, I thought, okay, I just, I need to do one video per book so we can just talk about it. So it'll be a lot of books about acting, of course, techniques and advice and tips and things. And then I wanna do, of course, classics and I wanna do books about the business, any book to movie type of vibe. And so I'm gonna deliver them like a classic book report for you. And if you don't really like to read, I would highly recommend for you to get into Audible. I freaking love Audible because I put huge dents in my books when I have maybe a booking where I have a three and a half hour drive, as you've seen in my vlog. When I vlogged about booking a commercial and I talked about what I was listening to on my seven hour commute, three and a half hours there, three and a half hours back. Um, it was really helpful to stay oiled up and not have that time go completely idle. So then I also thought about Reese Witherspoon's book club. I remember watching an interview about her talking about how she's gotten so many ideas for her productions. So many of her shows are literally from books. And she was saying how her husband was encouraging her to produce more because he said something to her like, you of all people have so many stories to tell because you read so much. And she was like, you know what, you're right. But if you're not a part of that, she's on Instagram, go to Reese Witherspoon's book club. It's freaking awesome. Right now I'm really focused on a lot of acting books, but except for this that I'm gonna read soon, but I've always tried to stay consistent with reading a book. It was really exciting because here recently she posted about where the crawdads sing and how it's being made into a movie and I literally read that book like three years ago. So can you imagine? I just, it's so exciting to me. Can you tell? I'm just so excited. And that whole thing I mentioned earlier about it can affecting your empathy, your social, your social perception and your emotional intelligence, those are vital things to hone and cr and polish as an actor. So how wonderful that you have this resource. And I'm telling you guys, if you can't afford buying books, go to the library. I spend so much time at the library. I'm being redundant, but I spent so much time just renting books out because I almost had like an anger towards acting. Like I wanna be better at it, but it costs so much money and I don't know what to do. And I had like these hangups. So I was just renting out books and it didn't hurt me to go in there. And I just kept reading more and learning more and wanting more books and then got to the point where I like bought one because I wanted to keep it and have it because it became so enriching to me to reread it. Uh, so sometimes I'll reread books too. And I'm real crazy y'all. I will literally have a book in audible form in actual physical book form and i have it in my e-reader like a no i have a nook from barnes and noble so i will have the book all three ways because you never know what will be easier for me to do and it's on my phone in the nook app maybe i feel like reading it one way one time and another way the other time like i know that's a, that's a little indulgent but like i said i commute a lot so it's really important for me to have audible also it's so cool if you you don't have to do all three but sometimes, and I will let you know in this new book series, this new book club series, which books you should choose on Audible versus like the physical book or which book will help you most if you have both the physical and the Audible because I just, the book that we're gonna do next, the first book I'm going to report on is Michael Caine's Blowing the Bloody Doors Off. And you guys, 
you have to get that through Audible because he reads it, he narrates it. Sometimes you have the actual authors of the book narrating, which is freaking awesome because they know how to tell it really well. Although sometimes authors are not good voiceover artists. That happens sometimes too. I always do a little preview on Audible to see whether or not I can stand that person's voice. I have like a weird thing with voices. So sometimes if I just like, I'm like, oh, no, no, I cannot listen to you for 17 hours of this book, so I don't do that. So I make sure to test it first, right? But it's wonderful when you get someone like freaking Michael Caine reading your book. It's epic. Another example is the, um, it's not here, but it's the Sanford Meisner on acting book. So I read it in book form first, like before I took Meisner, and it was so confusing. And so when I took Meisner the first time years ago, I only took like five classes of it. It's like, okay, I get this now. And it was easier to read and I read it a little bit again. And then when I started taking Meisner classes, I'm in my ninth month of Meisner classes, maybe like month five or six, when I was feeling a little bit blocked on some of the concepts and was having issues breaking through to the next level. I started reading the book on Audible and it was freaking fantastic the way they do it on Audible, the way the readers deliver it. And it was so so good to, to just listen to it. So I'd be washing dishes, cleaning my kitchen, or every night when I'm cooking, I would just play and listen to it. And it helped me, I can't tell you how much it helped me so much. It really supplemented everything my teachers were doing to help me get to the next level, which I finally did. So, um, oh, if you wanna know more about Meisner, I don't have a video about it yet, but I did a week long vlog, two days at a time, of what I do every day to work towards acting. And on one of the nights I took my Meisner class where I show you me doing emotional prep with an activity where I hit a 10 with sadness. So if you wanna like check that out, go find the, the vlogs. I'm not sure what's gonna be posted first, but I'm aiming for this channel to be a long-term thing. So if you're watching this in the, in the future, you can go back and find that vlog. It's currently not posted, but it will be. So if it wasn't already clear, this is just an intro to the series I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put them in a playlist. I wanna add a video once a month to this series. We're in a book club, you guys. I love this for us. Next month in December, I want to report on Michael Caine's Blowing the Bloody Doors Off. Definitely highly, highly, highly recommend reading it in the audible form. So I 1000% loved this book and took away so many nuggets, so much treasure. Segue into my quote of the day for this video. This quote is brought to us by none other than the incredible Walt Disney. He says, there is more treasure in books than in all the pirates loot on Treasure Island. I thought that was so cute and so true. There is so much knowledge. People's life experiences are in these books. Their entire stories. As actors, we are storytellers. We're contributing to stories. I mean, I should have said this sooner, but our job as actors is to bring stories made by writers to life. And these are all beautiful stories written by incredible writers. And we have access to years and years, decades upon decades, of wisdom from times past. I know we can always do podcasts and YouTube and Google and things, but wow, something about someone writing down and putting it all in a book, they give it all to you um, in full form, you know, not just these little like snippets. I know we're very much consuming media in this very like microwave generation. I don't know if that's, people still say that, but we want everything in like 30 seconds, 10 seconds, TikTok. 15, five, 15 seconds. But I do encourage you to invest in your craft with time and in yourself, in your brain, in your soul. As we've already said, your emotional intelligence, your empathy, and great books written to help you and me become better actors and better people. So, okay, we'll see you next month um, when we touch base on Michael Caine's Blowing the Bloody Doors Off. I'm personally gonna read the House of Gucci book. So if you wanna do that too, let me know if you've already read it. Let me know if you're gonna read it. Um, today is November 4th, so I got a good 20 days to get this in. That way I can watch the movie when it comes out and just kind of like judge, just kidding. <laughs> That's the Virgo in me. We're always judging everything. But you know, we always love the book more than the movie, but I can't wait to see these incredible actors kill it in this film. So if you can squeeze both books in before then, or just wait it out, cause I'll probably do this book in January um, for fun, or maybe I'll do it. I do feel an urgency to get through some of these like very like acting training helpful books. 
um, like Uta Hagen and this Jenna Fisher book, The Actor's Life. I read this in like three days. It was so, so, so helpful and good. But for fun, maybe we'll just do this one in January. We'll see. I'll let you know in the next video. So, okay, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're down for this book club, this book gang, book Actors Corner book club meeting corner series, then please, by all means, hit the subscribe button. It's very helpful for you to actually subscribe to the channel because full transparency, I would love to make this channel my little passion project where hopefully I can make it into a stream of income. And as you know, on YouTube, you can get monetized, but you have to achieve very specific guidelines like having a thousand subscribers, having 4,000 watch hours, so it's exciting to me to think that I could do this. I would do this for fun, but it's cool that perhaps over time we can get a little income stream from it. You know what I'm saying? As an actor, we're always trying to get those multiple income streams, which we'll do. I can't wait to start talking about finances. That's another series I want to do eventually. I'm so passionate about personal finance. Okay, I'm rambling. So I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Cheers and happy reading. <clears throat> I just spit everywhere. <laughs> Cheers and happy reading. Oh, my plan's doing better, by the way. Can you see? That one dead leaf, it fell, but look at her blooming over here. Look at the, this leaf is gorgeous. Okay, okay, bye. <laughs>